If you like solving plate puzzles and you're looking for a challenge, but nothing that's impossible, I recommend T-Totem from Alphonse Eichmann's. It's an underrated uh, puzzle. I don't uh, hear too much about it, but I decided some time ago to build it. Uh, I don't think you can buy it uh, currently uh, at the time of this video in wood. You can find all the parts on puzzlewillbeplayed.com and you can build it in Fusion 360 or any 3D editor. The difficulty level is 25, but it plays a little tougher than that. There is a rotation which can short circuit the intended solution. I'll talk about that in the solution section. If you're looking for a little easier entry to work up to this, uh, I'd recommend Worry, also by Eichmann's, and I have a previous video on that if you want to watch it. I build these by using a split plate. Uh, where I take a plate, split it in two with a V groove, and then use a PET um, band that goes around and holds it, and that allows me to assemble the puzzle. And I'll show that uh, uh, here. This is uh, how I built my teetotem model. I printed all the parts using uh, modeling them using Fusion 360. One of the first uh, difficulties is in deciding how to align all these parts and making sure you have the intended uh, alignment. So those three burr pieces uh, have to go in that orientation. You can't solve it. And then you have to worry about which way are the three plates oriented. And they can get jumbled as you're solving, so you've got to be a little careful. That's the bottom plate, the middle, and then the top and they have to be in that orientation according to the red and black pegs on the right. Now, I printed another copy of the bottom plate because you can't assemble it easily. And what I did was I took that bottom plate and I cut a V-groove in it to split it in two. Just 45 degree uh, cuts. And I did that in Fusion. And then I also put a band, a groove, around the outside that could accept a PETG band. And I use PETG because it's more uh, flexible. And that's the groove profile that I used around the outside. Now, if you do this, print a, a few of these bands. You might want three or four. They'll shred after a while or you might need to cut them out to reset the puzzle but allows you a great way to get the puzzle in a reset state without having to assemble it. This puzzle is almost impossible to assemble if you don't have any experience in disassembling it. So the first challenge to put your puzzle together is to put the parts in the top two plates and though that's not too difficult. Red and black pieces will go in first. Just make sure you orient them properly. And the black piece will slide up right next to the top red piece so that you can insert the last red piece. Helps to have three hands. But you can see there that that's out of the way and I have an entry point for that third piece. So easy to rotate these and then you're working forever trying to solve it. But that will allow you to get the three pegs in the proper orientation and the th first two plates on properly. That third is impossible unless you know how to solve the puzzle so taking this two-part plate really aids in assembly. Now you can add the band. It will press fit. And you may have to print a few versions of the bands. You may have it too, too loose. And that will play just as well as the original puzzle. You'll get to this state with your puzzle probably relatively quickly and you'll perhaps search and search for a way forward and not find one. If you're not careful, the puzzle can become loose and you can do some 
uh, rotations uh, unintentionally that will allow you to solve a puzzle, but that's not part of the intended solution. From here, you can solve the puzzle with just linear movements. You just got to keep at it. Now, there is an assembly uh, and disassembly video to follow. I encourage you not to look at them unless absolutely necessary, but once you find it, you may want to compare your solution to mine. So I now introduce those. So the very first part of the disassembly is just to get the red part on the bottom left out of the first two plates. And by manipulating those top two, you can create a hole that it'll punch down through. Now it may or may not uh, be in quite the correct position. It needs to, you need to move that bottom plate and it'll punch through both of the plates at that point. And then you move the top plate into a position where the black will overlap the red and that will allow you to push both of them down one burr unit. So the red will become flush with the top. And that'll loosen up those two plates. So it'll make them actually quite loose once the bottom uh, left red piece goes through the second plate. So at this point they're pretty loose and if you don't keep track of them it's very easy to rotate them in an unintentional way. Here's a little note about that. And you may want to stop and solve the puzzle yourself at this point. So from here, probably I spent three or four days just finding out how I could move forward. So you need to pop the red piece back up. And you'll find that the top plate will go over top of the bottom left red piece. And by manipulating the plates, the top two and the bottom one, you can get the red piece in a position where it's over that lower cutout. So that red piece right there needs to go in that slot right there, that little cutout. So you move, have to move that bottom plate over. And you won't see it unless you're looking at it from the bottom. And then once it's in that slot, you can move the top plate up Now, at this point, the bottom red piece can be moved upwards and to the left. And you're going to move the red piece, to the top red piece, out of the top two plates. So now those, both those plates are going to come down. There's a hole there. And you can push that down through both plates. The black piece will now actually come out with the two plates. You'll need to move the top plate down a bit, and at that point you can just pull it up and everything comes apart. To reassemble, of course, you just do it in reverse. It's a little more difficult because you got to get these two red pieces to sort of stay put. Really important to have that black piece in the right orientation. And this may look easy. Probably took me five minutes to uh, get that so it would all stay apart. So you'll notice the bottom left piece is up and over to the left. And then you can push the red piece, the top right red piece up through the two plates. And at that point you can move that bottom left 
down into a position where you can move the top plate. And you'll just fiddle with those two plates And what you want to get is the black plate over top of the red plate again. So now that they're over top of each other, they'll push down so that the red top red is flush with the top plate. And then you can pull up those top two plates and slip the bottom plate underneath. And you'll see a hole open up in the middle plate that you can push the red bottom red plate piece through. Now at this time you can move the black piece up, which moves the red piece up. And by manipulating the top plate, you're going to want the black piece to go sideways along with the top red and you'll be able to push that up through. Now this is going to be in the right spot in the bottom plate so you just got to move that bottom plate upwards a little bit right there and then you can push it all the way up. And then from there it's fairly easy to get it back to its original initial position. It's a great puzzle. Hope you enjoy it.